get in. That's, wait, wait, that's I get my in. Line. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. We're going to And then the light started to flicker. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> You're gonna be so shocked that it's literally out in the open. It's literally so accessible to anybody. I'm so white. Oh, I'm even more like, white. Oh my god, a ghost! Oh no, it's just you. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Wait, we're breaking into me? And this is what you pull up with? I thought it was like private property, so I, originally I wore this, but since I... You know what? Your white privilege me. will save you. Your white privilege will save you, so it's fine. Excuse me, officer. Don't I remind you of your son? <laughs> oh my... I love baseball. Fuck the Democrats. And the are like, uh, he's fine. Good kid. Good kid. He's a good kid. He's a good he's kid. A good kid. <laughs> I feel like we're in like ghost hunters, like you know they're like flash it, we have like a haunted space. <sighs> Isn't this crazy? That's scary. You know, the one thing I do love about going to like such a big school is that like there's probably so many places like this that people just have long since abandoned. And you'd only know if like, because it's like such esoteric information, like you'd only know if like, like you were in it. it. Yeah. Or like, yeah. This is so cool. All right, let's put this down. Do you want to sit on these? We do a montage. It's like fucking scary as abandoned places. Yeah, let's do it, Here at this abandoned bowling alley. Do you have any ghost stories? I'll tell you the most scared I've ever been. I was, um, I was home alone. I was probably like sixth grade, seventh grade. It was like late. Someone like knocked on my front door, ringing the doorbell, and I went there and there was no one there. I was like, no, ding dong ditch. And then someone did the same thing to my back door. And then somebody did the same thing to my basement door. And you're home alone. I'm home alone. And you're like 12. Yeah, I was super young. And I'm in the basement, and then all of a sudden the back door opens. Shut the fuck up. And Shut the fuck up. It's, Yo, it's fight or flight. This is like home alone, but oh yeah, like... No, no, no. I was terrified. I was like, this isn't a ghost. This is, I'm just getting fucking robbed, and I'm going to get murdered. Like, And it's my fucking Aunt Kathy. Oh, my God. <laughs> and she's like, oh, hi. I, I, nobody was answering. I was like, I went to the doors immediately. What the fuck are you talking about, Aunt oh Kathy? Yeah. The most scared that I've been was sleep paralysis. Oh, no. That... That shit is terrifying. So I was I was younger than you were. I was like 10. But there was just one night where I'm like stuck in bed and I wanted to get up and I couldn't. And I tried to move my arms, I tried to move my legs and like just still. And I was like, okay, this is really weird. Like I can't move my body. And then I see like, you know, the darkness coming up from like the foot on my bed. And so when I see this dark image come up, I'm like trying to scream trying to like fight right I, I was trying I went, I went fighting off light but I couldn't because my body wasn't moving and like I very distinctly remember like the face of like a demon and it was just it was so scary and I think it was like an image more from like a lot of scary movies I watched as a kid and I hated scary movies so it was just like just suddenly I started waking up I just woke up out of the blue and I like in a sweat like panicking like full body just yeah. like in literally sweating buckets holy shit I'd say the only thing people should honestly be afraid of is car rides. Other than that, you're big on that. You're big on like the the reality of death every day from, from something you do so often. No, literally just cars. Anyways, if you're gonna learn anything, just say it. Don't get in a car. Don't get in cars ever. Yeah, y'all stay safe. And see you.